Next presenters are Nihon Fukushima University from Japan and the Loya University of Phnom Penh from Cambodia and the Institute of Technology from Cambodia. Let's welcome them with a big hand. Hello everyone, my name is Yuki Ishiguro. This is Hota Takazawa. We are from Nihon Fushi University. This is Samris and this is Nara. They are from Cambodia. Our presentation title is Our Children Smiles. Before we start this presentation, I would like to ask you two questions. Can you see children smiles? How many chocolates and how much coffee have you consumed this week? Can you see that the connection between children's smiles and our present consumption of chocolate, sweet chocolate and coffee is? It is child labor. Cacao plantations and coffee plantations are notoriously for using child labor. This is our time of our presentation. We would like to make a presentation about how to reduce child labor. At first, I will tell you the definition of child labor. It is defined as working children aged 5 to 17. Age refers to the lowest age that people can be employed in the country by law. Other factors depend on working environment. First, first, the employment which prevents children from receiving compulsory education. Second, the work which impedes growth. Third, moving children's mental and physical health. For example, Domestic workers suffer violence from their employers. Finally, exploitation, such as working in the sex trade or as child labor, ch sorry, child soldiers. Around the world, there are 215 million children, about one out of seven children who were involved in child labor. 53% of them live in Asian countries or the Pacific Islands. 60% of them have worked in agriculture, such as cocoa, coffee, or banana plantations. So after we know about the definition about child labor, we need to uh, know why, what are the causes that cause child labor. So, um, after doing research, we have recognized that there are many factors that cause child labor. But among them, poverty is the most and the primary cause of child labor. In low-income family, parents aren't able to afford their children and send them to school. And um, instead, they decided to stop them from studying and just make them to, in, to assist them in increasing the family incomes. That is why child labor is formed. So, what do you think about the consequences in the future? Of course, the human resources in the future will be heavily affected. Now, let's take a look at the data collected in Japan and Cambodia. We asked them two main questions. The first question we asked was to ask uh, to know that uh, how much the students know about child labor. The result of the questionnaire came out that among 100 students, um, the majority of the students that answer that they know much, they know a little about the child labor is around 90 um, percent. So it's it's very much that uh, it's very many people that don't know don't know about child labor, and in Japan, as you can see, 
there is around there is only nine percent that they know a lot about child labor. So the the knowledge about knowing child labor is still very limited. The second question attempt to survey if the respondents are aware that they are, the things used in their daily life are related to child labor. Positively, 78% of Cambodian students know, are fully aware that their daily life are currently connected to the child labor. Similarly, in Japan, we collected 148 students. Out of four, uh, 148 students, we had 70% uh, that uh, he said that yes, their, their life has relationship with child labor. But most of them fail to explain that uh, how, how much they are connected, how, 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 to, how they are connected to child labor in detail. And for those 30% who say no, the reason was, was that the child labor happened far from Japan and there's no chance to see them, see the child labor around them. So in Japan, it is difficult to know exactly where and how every the items are made. However, is it enough to know accurate information? Of course, it is very important first step, but take the next step. We will suggest the actions you can do as a customer. So why don't you choose the products from reliable companies? In Europe, the fair trade label is very popular. And in Japan, you can also avoid helping child labor by encouraging people to look for the fair trade label on products in Japan. The most important thing is to voice your needs. Companies will change if many people show that they will not accept the child labor. Let's look at this picture. How do you feel when you see this? These children have no parents taking care of them have no chance to go to school, have not enough food to eat, and also have no proper place to stay. We, as citizens of the world, don't want to see them like this. We want to see them live happily as other children do. We want to see them smile. Now the question here is, what can we do in order to help recruit those children? Perhaps we cannot prevent this world in which child labor, in which children are tortured, but we can reduce the number of tortured children. How? Ladies and gentlemen, how? Actually, there are various ways to eliminate child labor, two of which are through supporting campaigns and disseminating information support campaigns. There are many organizations that are running campaigns in order to help those children. So we can help and support them by volunteering or donating our own property or give, or give good ideas about how to deal with the problems. Disseminate information. As we know, action speaks louder than words. So we can use our action to speak out on behalf of those children. To talk about this, we refer to education. We can run campaigns in order to raise the awareness of the value of education. The intention of our presentation today is to make a difference, to make a change in the world. As we know, there are two changes in the world, the change to the worse and the change to the better. And we would like to choose the second one, the change to the better, 
in which all children can smile. So let me suggest you one. Let's stop child labor. Together, we can prevent child labor from becoming widespread. Together, we can make a better future for all our children. So let's join us. And if you want to know more about child labor, please refer to these references. Thank you for your listening. Thank you very much for the nice presentation. Your presentation was informative and gave us a good opportunity to think deeply about the child labor. Teachers, do you have any comments? Thank, thank you for your impressive presentation. And there are important messages including. And personally, I like the presentation start with questions. Uh, you guys start with start it with questions, then I can um, attract the audience. But uh, only one thing I can um, I can suggest to you is um, when you when you show the tables, when you show the tables, you using the per percentage. I think at least you have to show us where the data comes from. Because it, it's a percentage. So, or you have to show how many people answer that question. Otherwise, otherwise it's per percentage. If it's like 10 people answer that question, and then 70% is percentage, meaning nothing. So you have to show at least where the data comes from. Then, then um, make, it will make your presentation more persuasive, I think. Okay, thank you. And one more thing I'd like to add is your messages, your messages were very impressive. And oral messages also were impressive. And your physical messages also well supported your oral messages. So well done. Thank you very much.